Hello and welcome to Verdictum. I am Ananya Singh and you're watching today's legal news where we update you with the recent important legal developments across the country. Here are the headlines. Supreme Court notifies Constitution Bench to hear three important cases starting from September 20th. Supreme Court refuses to entertain PIL seeking direction to curb religious conversions. Supreme Court agrees to hear plea by Editors Guild of India seeking protection from coercive action in FIRs filed in Manipur. Supreme Court strikes down election department notification for Ladakh Hill Council polls. IDBI Bank appeals against NCLT order approving Z and Sony merger. Delhi court summons Arvind Kejriwal's wife for having names in voters list of two assembly seats. Now let's take a detailed look at the headlines. The Supreme Court has notified that three cases of importance will be heard by a five judge constitution bench starting September 20th. The bench will be headed by the Chief Justice of India D Y Chandrachur and will also comprise Justice A S Bopanna, Justice M M Sundresh, Justice J B Pardiwala and Justice Manoj Mishra. The bench will take up matters relating to the Assam National Register of Citizens, reservations to SC and ST in Lok Sabha, and immunity to MLAs for taking bribe. The case relating to the Assam NRC is titled Assam Public Works versus Union of India and others, and it questions the constitutional validity of Section 6A of the Citizenship Amendment Act of 1955. This particular section provides with the regularization and expulsion of illegal immigrants in Assam. The second case is titled Ashok Kumar Jain versus Union of India and others and is based upon a petition that challenges the reservation to persons belonging to the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and Anglo Indians in the Lok Sabha. The petitioner argues that such reservation is violative of right to equality as provided under Article 14 of the Constitution of India. The third case is titled Sita Soren versus Union of India and poses the question of the legal immunity given to the MLAs whether it protects them from prosecution and matters of them taking bribes even if the said bribe was not used in pursuance of the act for which it was received. A three judge bench of the Supreme Court today dismissed a public interest litigation which sought a direction to the center to take necessary steps to curb fraudulent religious conversions in the country the bench was presided over by the chief justice of india d y chandrachur and justice j b pardiwala and justice manoj mishra who said that pil has become a tool and everyone is coming up with petitions like these the pil was filed by one jerome ento from karnataka who alleged that hindus and minors are being targeted and they are being converted fraudulently the lawyer appearing for the petitioner asked the court where should the petitioner go with this kind of grievance on this the bench said we are not in advisory jurisdiction and dismissed the plea the supreme court today agreed to hear a plea by the editors guild of india seeking protection from coercive action in two firs filed against some of its members in manipur On September 4th the chief minister of Manipur N Biren Singh said that a police case has been filed against the president and three members of the editors guild of india on the basis of a complaint that accused the members and the president of the organization of trying to provoke clashes in the state another fir was also registered against the same four members of the guild alleging the offense of defamation to have been committed by them The FIRs were filed in response of a report published by the guild on September 2nd slamming the ban on internet in Manipur calling it detrimental to media reportage. The guild also critiqued the media reporting for being one-sided and favoring the government. Senior advocate Sham Devan appeared for the guild and placed the matter before the CGI D Y Chandrachur who agreed to take up the matter for hearing today. A bench of the Supreme Court comprising Justice Vikram Nath and Justice A Amanullah set aside a notification of the election department for the Ladakh Hill Council polls passed on August 5th and directed the issuance of fresh process within 7 days the bench also dismissed the plea by the ladakh administration opposing the allotment of plo symbol to the national conference and imposed a cost of rupees 1 lakh on it 
the Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court had dismissed the Ladakh administration's plea against a single judge bench order dated August 9, allowing the National Conference Party candidates to contest the upcoming polls for the LAHDC on the party symbol. The polls in the region are scheduled for September 10th, and the counting of votes will take place four days later. IDBI Bank has filed an appeal against the National Company Law Tribunal order that approved the merger of Z Entertainment Enterprise Limited with Sony Pictures Network India, which is now known as Culver Max Entertainment. The order was passed by the Mumbai bench of NCLT on August 10th this year. The merger will go on to create the largest media entity in the country. The private lender bank has approached the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal against the order. A Delhi court has summoned Sunita Kejriwal, who is the wife of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, for allegedly having herself enrolled in the voters list of two assemblies. The complaint has been filed by BJP leader Harish Khurana, who alleges that Mrs Kejriwal has violated the provisions of the Representation of People Act. Khurana claims that Sunita Kejriwal is registered as a voter on the electoral rolls of Sahibabad Assembly constituency which is a parliamentary constituency in Ghaziabad district of Uttar Pradesh and also in Chandni Chowk assembly constituency in Delhi that was all on today's legal news thank you and keep watching verdictum and subscribe to our channel and download the verdictum app on ios and android to keep yourself updated with authentic legal news